to another exclusive. We hear from the teenager who was stabbed just yesterday at his high school. Today, he spoke with Local 10 News reporter Derek Shore, who's live with the interview you'll see only on the one and only. Derek. Well, Lori, that 18 year old senior stayed home from class today. He wasn't at school. He was at home recovering. He says he expected a possible scuffle in that bathroom, but he did not expect that student to pull out a knife. I saw that I was bleeding like a lot. I was just glushing blood. Just 18 year old Giovanni Pavone says he is doing much better a day after being stabbed on campus at his high school, Westland Hialeah Senior. Especially in school grounds. So this has to make no sense whatsoever. Giovanni admits he agreed to meet a freshman student in a bathroom to hash out a beef, but it turned into much more than a scuffle when that 15 year old pulled out an exacto knife and started swinging. But like I went back, so I reacted quick. Just, just thanks God I reacted quicker. He says the student narrowly missed his eye and face and instead stabbed his chest and arm. Giovanni rushed to Palmetto General Hospital, the freshman student placed into police custody. Today, learning he will not be getting out anytime soon. Due to the nature of the charges at this time, I understand it is a first offense. I am going to keep him in secure detention. What the? The incident comes as video of another fight has surfaced from the same school just after school hours some weeks back. You can see one student with a mask on punching another in what school officials say was a mutual combat situation that was addressed properly. As for yesterday's incident, Giovanni tells us he doesn't want his alleged attacker in trouble, rather to get help. I mean, something's going on. Something's going on with him that he's not reacting good. And Giovanni says an apology would be enough out of this. He is recovering. He was uh, put glue on some of those wounds in order to keep them closed, and he'll be home for a couple of days. But with the legal system, well, that 15-year-old will stay in custody for now, and prosecutors are not ruling out the possibility of charging him as an adult. We're live in Hialeah. Derek Shore, Local 10 News.